フルカウンターはい、ポイズ、ウェルカム、そう、it is patch day, my favorite day of the week, or every two weeks now, and、uh, we have a new character. You don't know who it is. It should be a catastrophe character from Leaks. We don't know if it's Subnag, the green girl, but it could be Siri. Not too sure how you pronounce the name, but let's see who it is. All right, we go. Who is it? No, it's <laughs> Valenti. No, Kelvin's winning. Oh, no. <laughs> Why have they done the worst catastrophe? It's a dead week, boys. I,、uh, You know what? The best thing is, is now she's done. We're not getting no more Valenti characters. There's, there's three Valentis already in the game. And she's in the modded beast. Oh, no. Why is she in the modded beast? I have to use her now. Oh, you hate to see it. Alpha looks terrible as well. Not gonna lie. Okay, so let's check out what this character actually does. Okay, so this character is made for the new Demonic Beast battle. The passive does say when you use a skill to damage an enemy in, obviously, Demonic Beast, debuff effects on allies will be removed one by one, and attack rate stats abilities will increase by 8% upwards to a max of 4%. So I assume that basically means. Whenever you remove a debuff, you're gonna get 8% attack rate stats up to 40%.、Uh, I hope it does pro even without removing debuffs. That'd be kind of nice too. But it's not turned, so it's just straight up getting a buff like throughout the whole battle.、Uh, also, when you deal damage with an all attack skill, a poison effect will be applied towards the enemy for two turns. If all allies participate in battle are of different races, the allies' HP related stats will increase by 20%. Character with additional rates also included. So, I mean, I'm not tied to show you're using. You're losing Valenti, so that is obviously human. Liz, I think you're using Goddess Liz. And I think maybe King, because this looks like it's trying to replace a Merle a little bit here. So,、uh, you will have all that effect. Working, which, um, yeah, because you can see right now, first skill is going to be single target shock, which is what the Merlin has, and also the AoE skill, which is going to release damage since you're going to have、uh, poison, you have King's debuffs too, uh, what's that bleed? I think he does, uh, then you're going to have, uh, was it shock and also, uh, and then bleed through the actual passive as well. Uh, ultimate is the exact same, so I mean, yeah, pretty simple character. This is made obviously for the new demonic beat battle. Once again, I kind of wish it was anyone but Valenti. Let's check out the ultimate, or at least the skills. I mean. It looks like Clay from Genshin. You know, the design wise? I mean, it's the best outfit so far. Okay, so this is the lineup. It is a pretty bad banner. It's literally just what you expect from other catastrophes. I, but Net Marble, please make them a bit better, right? Like, I get it's a catastrophe banner. It's got to be catastrophe characters. But, you know, throw in some festivals. Even the old ones, man. Just. There's no reason why we can't have like Deanne and like Eskinor, like the one on these banners. I mean, even still, it wouldn't be that useful. But I guess for new players, or you want to get some more dupes, would be nice. You can trade them into the other festival. It's just like, why not make these banners a little bit better by putting in some nice characters? Because, uh,. It, it just stinks. I mean, it, it really does. And the thing is, with the actual Demonic Beast battle, I mean, you're going to want to have this character, but we're only, we've only got one relic, and we're not going to get one in probably for like another month or two now. So, like, you can just do floor one and floor two for the time being, and probably still get enough time and have enough、uh, resources to get all the relics anyway. So,、uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to summon. I mean, I'm still trying to get gold for it because they've just done back to back festivals. Okay, so we have a new actual card set. Let's check which one does. Allies with the seven catastrophe trait will get their basic stats increased by 5%, and attack rate stats will increase by 5% as well when they attack an enemy with a debuff skill. Um, Yeah. All right, let's check what's also in this patch note. So, we're going to get some more actual login stuff, which is cool. We're going to get one free multi and a disaster ticket, which you can then exchange for a disaster character. But look at the lineup. I mean, it's a cool ticket. I like it. But, like, you know, put some cool. Where, it's not even Christmas Lee's in here. Why? Why? They put literally none of the seasonals. All these characters are free. And, like, they're on the banner as well. That is. um... Yeah, man, I miss opportunity. I like the idea of getting the Zaster tickets. Like, if this was, if, if they put like Blue Roxy in it to get her, obviously, duped out, because you want that, obviously, a link.、Uh, putting in the new monos just to have them, because some people may have gotten them. Would be nice to get, obviously, the Christmas、uh, Lily as well, because they choose not to put her in, even though she's not that good, but like, she's like, you know, once again, seasonal. I, once again, miss opportunity not to put in the seasonals, because even still. It's not like any of them are going to game break. All right, so we are getting this event back, which is going to bring another disaster ticket. Which,、uh, to be fair, I don't think I've gone all six six. So, 
I mean, I guess I'll use for GP, right? Uh, but yeah, once again, that is uh, the lineup, and I believe that is okay. You know, this is nice. This is um a pretty good event. You do get quite a bit of gems at this one, so we'll take it. We're gonna need it for offer and upcoming collaborations and festivals. We are definitely here. They're also returning the actual. They also return the fan art contest season one, which is um they're actually really good outfits, but unfortunately these are all like unusable characters. And I believe that is going to be it. All right, so what they're doing, they're now removing the blue red and jade box if you lot know them they're like you get them for pp i'm not entirely sure you get them but i think everyone has a bunch saved up uh they're gonna be now removed from the game and will now change towards the keys so uh you can do some obviously summons on the actual gear gacha which um is whatever but honestly probably this might be the best part of the update. They're now increasing the maximum friendships you can hold, or friendship coins you can hold, upwards to 5k from 2k, which is, uh, what I actually think probably the best update they've done so far in this Satchel Patch, because this, um... Yeah, it's kind of been a bit of an L, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, the boys, that's going to wrap up the video. That is the update. Nothing too crazy. A bit extra gems, a bit extra events. Obviously, Valenti is the new character, made specifically for the new Demonic B battle, the Ritaska, which, um... I mean, it's nice to get it soon after the raid boss because normally they sometimes wait like a month or two and, you know, the whole drama with obviously Freya where she was the Demonic P bar character but she wasn't sold as that and became it afterwards when her banner left and she got a relic. So this is um, definitely a lot better. I really wish it wasn't Valenti because I actually, you know, don't want to use her but now i have to actually force the user is it good we're getting it now sure but the problem is once again we just had back to back back to back to back must summons with alpha with you know gelda then we had gopha now we have this banner too even though the character in itself is not great looking wise the character's kit you actually want to get and like i said not to mention in two weeks time we're gonna get a collaboration probably shield hero to return People are going to want something for that one. And then two weeks later, I'm probably going to get even a new cool character. And then the new JP Annie. It's a lot, man. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot. So we, we got to pick and shoot with someone here. Personally, myself, I was skipping. So we'll have to wait and see. So, boys, thank you for watching today's video. Let me know if you're excited for this character. Probably not, unless your name's Kel. But, uh, but yeah, boys, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, peace.